Hello and welcome to WP Forms. Today we're going to learn how to create a Dropbox upload form for your WordPress site by using the WP Forms plugin. If you're looking for a way to automatically send WordPress file uploads to Dropbox, you probably want to easily manage those files or create a backup copy for safekeeping. With that said, let's get started. After logging into your WordPress site, we'll first go to the plugins page and install WP Forms to your site. If you haven't done so already, you can download the plugin from the Downloads tab in your WP Forms account area. If you don't have a WP Forms account yet, you can go to wpforms.com forward slash YouTube to get 50% off your purchase. We can head back to our WordPress site, and on the Plugins page, we'll click on the Add New button on the top left corner, and then click on the Upload Plugin button. We'll then choose our file, select WP Forms, and activate it once it's done installing. Afterwards, we'll need to verify your copy of WP Forms by entering the license key in the settings page of WP Forms. You can find the key on the downloads page of your WP Forms account, and once the license key has been verified, we can get started. We'll first want to go to the add ons page and activate the Zapier add on that's included in the Pro license level of WP Forms. The Zapier add on allows you to connect your forms to any of the over 2,000 apps available through their service. Just note that you'll need to sign up for a Zapier account before you complete this process. Go to WP Forms, Add-ons, scroll down to find the Zapier add-on, and click on the Install Add-on button. When it's done, the add-on status will appear as active, and you're all set. We'll then head over to the Settings tab to find our Zapier API key. You can find this key under the Integrations tab in the Settings page, and be sure to keep this window open as we'll need this key in a few moments. We'll then open up a new tab and log into our Zapier account to create our Zap. Click on the button labeled Make a Zap and we'll be taken to the Setup page. Within the first section, we'll choose our first app and event. In the search box, type WP Forms and click on it once it appears. After you've selected WP Forms, Zapier will then display your trigger options. WP Forms has only one trigger option, so we'll choose the new form entry option. You'll then need to choose your account. When you click on the Sign Into WP Forms button, an overlay will appear. This is where we'll need our API key that we found in the Integrations tab of the Settings page in WP Forms. Tab over, copy the key, and paste it into the API key field in the Zapier overlay. Next, you'll need to fill out the website field and be sure to enter the full URL of your site. When you're done, click Yes Continue, and your WP Forms account will now be connected to Zapier. You'll choose your newly connected account, click Continue, and be taken to the next step. Here, you're going to select the specific form you'd like to use for this Zap. In this case, it'll be a Dropbox upload form on our site. But something really important to keep in mind before you continue. You'll want to make sure that you select a form that has at least one entry in it already. The reason for this comes into play in our next step. This will allow you to pull data from the form you selected to test your connection. This important step lets you make sure and feel confident that your connection is sound. Once we've completed this step, we'll move on to the second section. This is where we'll find and select the app that we'd like to connect our forms to. In this case, we're going to look for and select Dropbox. In the next step, choose Upload File as the action and click Continue. Next, you'll need to connect your Dropbox account with Zapier, which you can do by selecting Sign In to Dropbox. Once your account is connected, click Continue. The next step is to specify which folder in Dropbox you'll want to upload the files to. You'll also need to select the File Upload field on your form that you'll want to use to upload the files to Dropbox. Once you've made your selections, click Continue, and you can either test and review the connection or test and continue. For now, we're going to test and continue. If the test is successful, you should see a message letting you know that the file was sent to your Dropbox account. We can quickly check the account to verify that the file was in fact sent over. If it was successful, we can return to Zapier, click Turn on Zap, and you're all set. 
Your Dropbox upload form will now automatically send any uploaded files through your form to your Dropbox account. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, which has step-by-step -step written instructions for all of our features and add-ons. If you need any extra technical help, please go to our contact page and reach out to our support team. Hey everybody, this is Daisy with WP Forms. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, where I can show you how to build smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.